Good afternoon, everyone. Al Gore said, I actually meant no sea ice by 2016. Seventh least amount of sea ice on record. How about those sea level rises? 140-year photos. Everything is cyclical. Pacific water temperatures. Now we have the total solar irradiance forecast out to 2030. Australia frost wipes out millions. Spain fruit affected. And Bobby with Oz Politic keeping the mini ice age board alive. Let's look at the cold sweeping Australia and New Zealand. And during these times of uncertain growing seasons, you're going to have to rely more on your own. TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. The Adapt 2030 link is below in the description box, as well as links to tonight's images and stories. And if you're looking for more in-depth analysis on the Grand Solar Minimum and how it's going to affect your life, try weekly podcast Mini Ice Age Conversations. Remember Al Gore's famous predictions in 2009, there'd be no sea ice left and we had to prepare for a global CO2 tax. And then it was, so 2013, it still didn't melt off, so let's just change it to 2016. Well, Al, we're still waiting because the sea ice is growing. It is now the seventh least amount of sea ice in the Arctic on record. We are at that yellow bar in the center. To the left, those are the years previously that were lower than now. And if you look to the right, it's just a few hundred thousand square kilometers, and we're going to eclipse that as we move into next year as well. So it'll be something like the 10th lowest by the end of next year, or even more. Also, we were told sea levels would rise, and we'd have to evacuate the coasts. Let's take a look here. Sydney Harbor, 140 years. Obviously, the older photos on the left are black and white compared to sea level rise here. How much has the sea level risen? Well, not enough to make us leave the coast, and it probably won't as we enter the grand solar minimum. Remember, everything is cyclical. And as you look at this chart here, this is the heating and the cooling of the Pacific Ocean. That's creating our El Ninos and La Ninas. Now you can see it is pretty stable on a pattern that doesn't fluctuate outside in the range, but it's always going from warm to cold. So I've had a lot of people asking me on my Patreon board, what about total solar irradiance? So here we are. Looking back to January 1989, so we can see right around 361 to 362 watts per meter squared. And as we move forward, that total drops down to 360 to 361. Now, during the Maunder minimum, they were down in the 359 to 358 range in that grand solar minimum 400 years ago, 1640s. Now, this is from Dr. Wahid Uddin. Monthly total solar irradiance, and that dotted line is where we are now. And the future prediction is decreased TSI, decreasing global temperatures, increasing snowfall, and unstable growing seasons. When we look back at these headlines here, 1926,000 dead Florida storm property loss at 150 million. But back then, that 150 million is billions today. And it is a cycle. Remember the Dust Bowl? Remember how it was hot then in the 1930s? It's a cycle. On to agroinsurance, Australia, frost wiping out millions of tons of grain production. Spain smashed with massive hail, damaging the fruit industry. They were reeling from the last two years in a row of exceptional cold. So as the reports continue to roll in, it looks like the southern frost that occurred over the last couple of weeks is going to negate another million tons. And now seen at 15 million, that is way, way high. The forecasts now have it at around 10 million tons or so. Now, Bobby over at OzPolitik running the mini Ice Age board over there, up to at least 350 pages now. He's keeping an eye on Australia and New Zealand Unusual cold weather events, as well as crop decreases and losses on the continent. So a couple snippets just from the last two pages that he has up there from the last week of September. Australia, best depth for snow in the last six years. But Al Gore told us that our children would never know what snow was. Snow fell in New Zealand, heavy snows reported, even down to 200 meters. Incredible. It is spring already. Measuring in the year's total fourth highest this century. And this is all the record cold that swept through, killing even more of the crops in Australia, as well as Tasmania. Can't forget Tassie down there, because it's been icy blast after icy blast. Bobby will keep you filled in on what's happening in the southern oceans. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. As you can see, there's signs around us, different people putting out the information to get you ready for these changes. All the while, the corporate media tries to deflect and push the narrative of CO2 warming, even though it's apparent that the days of warmth on our planet with stable growing seasons are a thing of the past.